first of all, you move in concert with the places that you distribute, obviously. You know, web pages were never particularly good at as, as a distribution point for video. And what we've seen in the last couple of years is the slow maturation of new distribution points for great brands and publishers like hers. And that includes everything from Snapchat to Instagram to Facebook to YouTube. And so those are slowly maturing. The distribution's becoming more predictable and the ad models are coming into focus a little bit. The hardest thing, of course, for video for brands was, unlike, say, the cable ecosystem, there was never any systematic monetization opportunities. So the answer was always do it in partnership with a brand and therefore you know, create a native product with them, which we do really, really well. But what's happening is those environments are maturing, their appetites for different types of shows are maturing, and we're moving along with that. Um, I do think that uh, broadly you're seeing the kind of transformation of our feeds is really how I look at it. So we've been, we're incredibly good now. I think our core competency is creating very, very sort of consumer-centered content at high velocity to lots of distribution points. And whereas that used to be galleries and articles and evolved into deeper reporting, it's now increasingly video. So we'll sit here in a couple of years and half of it will be video. And I think we perform a really unique uh, role in the ecosystem. That role is we supply sort of service entertainment content to a broad set of distribution points that hits consumers when they're on their mobile phones, which I think is an enormous category and something that we sort of have rights to as a company because we do service incredibly well and we do, and we do entertainment on top of service really well and people trust our brands. So all of that together is really interesting. Now, I think that what comes out of that in many cases is cool IP. And when that cool IP pops out in the right way, you get the Delish show, right? Delish is an interesting brand because it's pointed at, it's pointed how a lot of people in this country really eat and it celebrates eating more than cooking. And so what we're doing with Delish is saying, there's something in here, there's a new way to think about food, media, and we're gonna partner with FYI to get that on television. So I think that just to back up, it's like velocity, deeper reporting to video, to IP, to other platforms. And that's been our evolution. And uh, it's kind of awesome. I, and to, this, is what, this is what you see out here tonight, right? What you see in the fashion tunnel or in the beauty area or in the food area, the men's area, that's, like those, that's kind of a, a physical embodiment of what we do all day. Uh, I hope that they see that we are really smart because I think that the way we articulated the values and, 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 and escapes components of our presentation showed real thinking about what consumers want. I hope they heard that we were amazing to partner with and we take the craft of creating content in partnership with clients very seriously and uh, that we make good shit, basically.